Hi friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate much. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And I promise you, you always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel so friends if you follow me here on my youtube channel or you follow me on instagram i think recently you have seen that i share with you the happy ever after love stories the stories that i shared maybe a year ago or two years ago now i come back and tell you how the couple is doing after meeting on online dating app or on online dating site you know <laughs> In real life dating, what happened from that time when we shared their love story? So I'll keep on, yes, bringing to you the happily ever after of these couples. But today's video, guys, it is going to be a totally different love story. <laughs> yes, because I've been receiving messages, DMs from some of you who wanted to know about this couple. I shared their success love story here on my channel. The lady is from Uganda and the guy is from America. So some of the messages or DMs I've been getting, some of you are like, I remember you sharing that girl's success love story. But now we have seen her stories on Instagram. She's like, they broke up. Can you please tell us what happened? Please, please, maybe you do an update. <laughs> It is good for us to know. And that is why, guys, I am here today. <laughs> oh, we are here because Nala is here to spill the tea <laughs> for you all <laughs> of what happened. But as you have heard already, it is not going to be a happily ever after. No, it is going to be an online failed love story sadly guys and at the same time i know some of you who are watching this video you are like but bella what's the sense it is a failed story <laughs> oh some of you are like but we thought it was a success story and that story really encouraged me so you're coming back here to tell us it is a failed story calm down <laughs> i told you guys that every love story whether it is a success one whether it is a failed one we have something to learn from it and to be honest with you guys after sharing nala's online dating success love story with you here on youtube past some months then i didn't see nala uploading anything in that couple's instagram account so as someone who has got enough experience on online dating sites apps relationships in general yes i sensed something was off before even nala came to instagram and started talking of her breakup you know because she gave you some hints of her breakup but i had sensed yes something was not going right in their relationship i never wanted to start asking nala oh what happened i don't see you anymore posting anything no i just wanted nala herself to come to me and tell me bella one two three four happened and yes that is how it happened guys she came to me and was like yes bella a lot happened in my relationship but i think even your subscribers deserves to know what really happened because i shared my love story and it didn't work out so i would like to talk to them tell them everything that happened so now i won't tell you anything in details but i'm going to do a video and you will get to know how things went in that video i was like it's okay yes i had sensed but i never wanted to come and ask you i wanted you to be the one to come and tell me what exactly happened so for those who didn't watch her part one success love story 
In a summary, <laughs> Nala came to me on Instagram for the first time and was like, Bella, I really like the job that you are doing on YouTube, encouraging black African women not to give up on love. And I would like to share my success love story with your subscribers so that I can encourage ladies out there that it is possible to find love online. I was like, yes, girl, I'm so happy. Share the love story. And that's when Nala shared her love story. She found an American guy on OK Cupid and they started dating, you know, in the long distance relationship. Everything was super fine <laughs> in the relationship that Nala was at peace and felt that American guy will be her future husband. So where we stopped in part one, I remember telling you guys that they were to meet very, very soon. And I promised you when they meet, I will bring <laughs> the video here of them meeting, you know, good news. So we stopped there and we were waiting for the good news. Sadly, the good news never arrived. Please, please, if you think of clicking off, do not click off. <laughs> we will have very, very important information to share with you. And don't be in a hurry to judge. First, watch the video. Thank you so much. And let me welcome our dearest, beautiful Nala to share her online felt love story with you guys welcome nala hi guys in this video i'm gonna be talking about my experience in my former relationship before that say hello to my lovely dog her name is trixie <laughs> so we're gonna go back to where my relationship started where i met this person and uh, how everything unfolded in the relationship but in 2021 around november october i was <laughs> watching videos on youtube if you know the channel which films which films videos of 90 days fiance and as i was watching it i uh, came across episodes of a couple named Benjamin and Akinyi and uh, I definitely followed them because their story was intriguing, was interesting so um, I went forward and followed their videos on their YouTube channel I watched the video of how they met and where they met and they met on a dating app and I was already on a certain dating app so I was like, I should also give this dating app a chance because, yeah, you never know. So they met on OkCupid okay and that's the dating app where I met my former person. I won't be saying his name, so I'll just use, okay, I'll just use letter C because I'll just use C because C is the first name, is the first letter of his name. I don't want to sound like I'm really bashing him because I don't want to project what I felt like on him. No, I just want to say my side of the story. There is always two sides of the story, by the way, but sadly, you won't get to hear his story because he's, he, he cannot be here. So, I went ahead and signed I made a profile, I made an account, I put everything on the profile that I needed to put out there. I put 10 pictures of myself, I filtered all the things that I'm looking for in a partner. Yeah, so I swiped and swiped and swiped and swiped and I got tired of swiping. I met different people, different kind of people on the app, but I did not give up because I knew that if Akini and Benjamin met, met on there, then I can also meet someone on there. That was back in 2021. Yeah. So, um, I think I did swipe C. Yeah, we say it, I'm gonna call him C. You know his name, but I'm just gonna call him C because I don't wanna say his name on here. 
So I swiped and swiped and swiped and I think I swiped C. We had a little conversation and I think after after some time we exchanged WhatsApp numbers. When we exchanged WhatsApp numbers, I think uh, I gave him my number but I just kept like swiping swiping and actually I got to the point where I I was like I wasn't motivated to swipe anymore or to talk to people anymore because you keep explaining yourself what you're looking for whatever whatever so I just there I left the app on the phone I did not delete it and uh, I took like a, a little break not checking the app but my profile was still there after a couple of weeks i received a message from a usa number and i was like oh who is this he didn't have a profile picture so i asked him why don't you have a profile picture he sent me the pro he said he put a profile picture and uh, i was i wasn't i didn't know whom i was talking to so i asked him to send me his photos and he sent me his photos um yeah so we connected we spoke and after three months of talking we fell in love we decided to make it official and uh, i remember he sent me a message telling me he loved me and i said it but because that's how i felt in the moment so i said it but and uh, time went by time flew time flew to um, <laughs> First off, if you are if you have watched the video on Bella's channel, I'm gonna apologize. I'm gonna first make an apology because I did say something that I I was covering up for C because I knew if people watched the video and I told them we had dated for a certain period of time I would get questions of why we hadn't met yet in person time flew and uh, we are now in 2022 yeah we are now in 2022 so uh, I was actually supposed to have my very first annual leave from my workplace so I was starting to get in ideas of asking see if we could meet in person and I knew that the, the questions were gonna come because on my Instagram I also kept asking getting asked questions you guys have been together for so long and why haven't you met it in person like I didn't want I didn't want to I didn't want to explain more of what was going on uh, so um, I'm apologizing please forgive me for what I'm gonna have to say of something that I did to cover up for C I'm truly sorry and please find a place in your heart and forgive me yes. so here is my little diary where I really wrote the key points of why I decided to leave that relationship and I'm gonna be looking up here I'm not gonna be reading a script but I'm gonna be looking up here so that I don't forget any point Need some water. Uh, September came because that's when I was supposed to get my very first, my very first annual leave, and uh, I asked this guy if we could meet, if we could meet for the very first for, for the very first time because we had dated for seven, eight, eight months. Let's say January, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. We had dated for eight months and I had an annual leave coming up. So I asked him if we could meet up in uh, November. Yeah, so what I, I remember telling you guys that I, that C was, C had already decided to come and see me and then I canceled on him because I had just got my new job. I said that because I was covering up for C. Damn! The truth is that I had just got that job. I was five months into that job, but you can take the annual leave anytime that you want to. So I had my annual leave coming up and I was already like planning because we have two weeks annual leave and I was already planning where and how I'm gonna spend it. It was a new job but we have annual leaves. So I'm sorry that I said uh, 
see what's coming to see me but then I had to cancel on him because of my, my job but it wasn't the case it's just that I didn't want so many questions to come to me I didn't because I was so much in love and I didn't want anyone to to identify any red flags in my relationship because I was so much blinded by love but I told you that and I told Bella that because I didn't really want so many questions to come my way of why we hadn't met yet in person so guys I had to stop and say something and I know right now your blood is boiling <laughs> mine was boiling too when I got to know the truth so if you have ever shared your love story here on my channel you know that when you come with your story i don't just tell you okay you can share it no i sit down and send you the questions and in most cases the questions go to 21 21 questions guys i remember there is a lady i sent her the questions i was like what bella those are so many questions but the reason why i ask those questions is because i also try to understand the story yeah and i also set some traps i told you there are some love stories that never made it here on my channel because when I ask those questions for the lady, you know, to do the story, be guided by the questions that I sent her, you find that there are a lot of red flags coming up and I start coaching the lady <laughs> instead of bringing the story to you. Yeah, behind the scene. <laughs> so with Nala's success love story, that is what I did. I sent her lots, lots of questions. To guide her to do the love story and she answered all the questions but only one question mm, when I got to know about it I was like ah something clicked my mind but at the same time Nala kept on telling me Bella everything is fine everything is under control this guy loves me very very much and very very soon we are going to meet the next time you hear from me I will come with good news maybe me and my boyfriend at the airport <laughs> yeah so when she said that I had to calm down and trust <laughs> go ahead share this story so what was that question my question was to the boyfriend because i send questions for the lady and i also send questions for the guy so that we get to hear from that guy if you have been watching my videos the story times i think there is a time you hear the guys talking, maybe their voice notes, or you see them, you know, in the videos talking. If you remember Leticia and Ian's love story, Ian was there, you know, talking, giving his experience. But with Nala's boyfriend, it wasn't possible, you know, for him to do the video. But he answered the question that I asked in a voice note. It never made it to be put in Nala's love story because for me, there was nothing to share with you from his response. So my question was, why did he fall in love with Nala? And also another question, but this was for Nala, was why is that it has taken you so long without meeting? It has been a year and plus and you haven't met. What Nala responded to me was like, actually, he wanted to come, but I had to stop him because I had just got a new job. It wasn't going to be possible for me to get the leave <laughs> at work. But right now, after talking to her, I totally understand her. She was blinded by love and there was no way she was going to answer me as the way things are <laughs> like how she is explaining now telling you the truth no decided to lie to me cover up for him because of the love why i told you you have to learn from her mistakes it's because this has not been happening 
only to Nala. I know a lady, I don't know if she's watching this video or not, but yeah, she discovered me on YouTube and then later on, we talked on Instagram after Instagram. Yeah, we exchanged WhatsApp numbers. So she shared with me a bit of her love story, you know, the past love relationship experience and her current relationship. But the way she was sharing with me the story, it's not that she was sharing for me to give her the guidance. No, she was just sharing her success love story. Trusted that guy a hundred percent and they had even talked of getting married. So marriage preparations. <laughs> but of course, on the lady's side. So the guy was supposed to visit this lady in her country. The guy was an American too. In July, if I'm not mistaken, July or August. And we were all over the moon. <laughs> But when July came, this guy brought excuses that he cannot travel, go to the lady's country, cause there is a lot of work. If even I give you what this guy was telling the lady, you remain shocked. I was shocked too. And I told this lady, mm, be careful. But he promised her to go in September again. <laughs> And the lady was like, no, I don't want to pressure him. You know, I just want to be that understanding girlfriend. But in my heart, I was like, oh, this is the red flag. Because I had told you already, guys, when a guy plans to come see you, and then when the time comes, he's supposed to come visit you. Then he tells you, no, I cannot come. A lot happened. I will come maybe after three months, after those three months, it's another excuse that's a red flag. So I saw that was a red flag and I was like, let's wait for that September. So when September came, the guy came up again with another excuse. And that is when I told the lady, you know what, girl, we need to have a serious talk. And my intention was to start guiding this lady, open her eyes, not to keep on believing the guy. But the lady was like, Bella, we haven't reached that extent of having a serious talk. <laughs> she was blinded by love, guys. And at that time, my hands were tied. I couldn't do anything because if you want to help someone and she tells you, no, there is no need, I cannot insist. So she told me he said he's coming in December. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's wait for December. December came and they kept on talking. But when this lady brought, you know, the topic of him coming, he was like, I am not sure. And that's when he even ghosted her. So she came to me and was telling me, Bella, I'm so down. Was even talking to me, her voice shaking, crying, was like, I'm so heartbroken. I don't want to hear anything about dating sites. But if this lady could have taken my offer of having a serious talk with her, maybe could have even ended things earlier but never wanted you know maybe for me to raise up lots of red flags her story is quite similar with nala's story so to the question that i asked nala's boyfriend at that time now he is ex i was like why did you fall in love with nala tell us and for me i expected you know to hear sweet words <laughs> from this guy but to be honest, the way he answered, <laughs> he didn't answer the question in a serious way at all, at all. That is why I never even brought it here <laughs> on that video that I shared. But something also happened in that same same voice note when he was saying why he fell in love with another. <laughs> Oh my God, he responded like, you know, the way you talk to me, the way you look at me, what is that? What is that? <laughs> okay, so after that, Nala was like, so babe, are we meeting in the Dominican Republic? He was like, I wish. Then immediately after I wish, he was like, I was watching Offset and Kadibi, like the guy switched the topic 
completely yeah so yeah after that voice note followed nala's voice note like telling me all is fine you know the guy is good <laughs> very excited and i was like that's okay i am happy for you but now hearing the truth I'm like, I wish at that time I could have raised this up and talked to her. But at the same time, I don't know if she could have listened to me. Because when she was sharing this story, it was like, the thing is, Bella, when you are into a toxic relationship or when you are into a relationship that, you know, eventually will not work, but you are totally in love with the guy you can't see those red flags but i'm telling you who is watching this video please open your eyes see the red flags please please <laughs> yeah we planned i told him i have an annual leave cup and an annual leave coming how about we meet in november because uh it's my birthday month and uh we can like meet if we've been together for eight months and he was like um oh. I don't have a passport. Uh, so when he said he didn't have a passport, um, I told him, how about you apply for the passport and I'll just ask for my annual leave in 2023, uh, January, because his birthday is in, is in January. So I told him we can just spend your birthday together. Yeah, so when uh, I told him that, he was like, ah, okay, I'm gonna apply for my passport and uh, then we can meet up in january anywhere we can like meet up i said okay perfect we kept talking we kept talking i kept asking him how far was the passport uh december came there was nothing so when january came i was like look we had planned to meet we extended our meeting in january so what's up like you're not giving me anything and he was like the passport is not yet out so we were like ah, okay we don't have any power upon that yeah, so that's the full year of us like being together and we are not dating we have not met and you know you have the pressure of people who are like admiring your relationship and you like Oh my god what's happening why can't we meet in 2023 uh, when January came I knew that we were supposed to be at least already like have the passport by then and he didn't like keep me informed that the passport was still delaying yeah so I was like you know what I think we're gonna need more time about the passport because um, I went ahead on Google and I uh, searched how long does it take for the passport to be out if you apply and it was like a couple of months it was about from three to six months in the United States so when I read that I was like you know what let's not rush this we still have time we love each other and we're gonna wait for each other and this is going to work out so I told him how about uh, we extend this to uh, September September 2020, uh, 2023 would give us time to still like get to know each other more even though we had already like been together for a year so it would still like give us time to keep talking and get to know each other like deeper more still so I told him okay I'm just gonna keep working through my annual leave I will, I will not take my annual leave so I'll just work because if you still work through your annual leave, they pay you. They pay you the money you have worked for. And uh, I uh, told him, ah, oh, you know what? Okay, let's just brush it off. Let's just wait until September. It'll be okay. That that will be the time when I can actually get like a second annual leave, so I can just take the second annual leave or a contract break, and then we can meet during that time. And we both agreed. So. And uh, it would like give him January, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It was eight, seven months, eight months, like, yeah, planning ahead. I thought that that was the period of time when everything will be set. So I actually also made a calendar. I'm not lying, guys. This is my workbook. It is for work. So I wrote the months down from from May actually 
because I made a calendar from May because uh, I wanted to start counting down just to look forward to that day. So I made a calendar here in my book and okay, so I made a book and here it reads uh countdown calendar to meet my long distance relationship boyfriend and i made it on the 4th of may 2023 so i started from may june july uh august september and we had planned on meeting here on the 18th 18th of september yeah, so I just wanted something to look forward to. So I made a calendar out and I wanted to cross out each day that would come for me to have that little faith that our relationship is going moving forward. I, I also want to apologize that I also told you guys that I had made people from C's life. But honestly, yeah, I remember I uh, spoke to someone some he gave me someone to speak to on the phone as i told you but i actually i just realized it after like we broke up and i was like why is even this person like related to them so, uh, he introduced me to someone that i don't actually know that they were even like family of course it was a call but anyways so uh the point that i want to make is that i never met any person from his family he never introduced me to someone and uh, we kept like having that uh, argument back and forth that why am i not like talking to anyone from his family what if something happened to him and i didn't have anyone to contact to reach out to yeah uh, and then i also i did my part and i set up countless video calls on whatsapp so that he can meet some people from my family but all the time he could just slip through the time that we had agreed and he would just come uh, with an excuse later that i was sleeping i was so tired Long and yes guys you. with this i remember too asking her this question i told you my questions have got a reason to why I ask them. When you come to share your love story, cause I need to know if the lady has been introduced to the guy's relatives. Cause if there is that introduction, then it tells you that the guy has got nothing to hide from her. He is a good guy. So I asked Nala if C introduced her to his relatives and she was yes actually i remember nala saying that she talked to the dad <laughs> oh my god love can be blind and now we hear she's telling us no was just trying to cover up for him because if she could have told me bella no i haven't talked to any of his relatives i could have told her no girl let's drop this then start coaching her <laughs> so you too who is watching this video you have to make sure the guy you're chatting to introduces you to his relatives especially if that guy is telling you i love you i have good plans with you i want to come see your family you know <laughs> so that you can introduce him you need to know people close to him on his side i've said these things guys sadly ah uh, it is what it is <laughs> let's not judge nala please please but at first yes i was super angry at her <laughs> even super angry at c when she told me the truth but it is the past let us only learn from this love story and by the way before we continue i'm taking you back to the tips and tricks of online dating that i shared with you i remember sitting down here and told you if you are chatting with a guy online everything is fine it shouldn't exceed three months before you know when you guys are going to meet and he should give you the date the month the year when you guys are meeting so that while chatting with this person, 
you know you have a deadline like he said december so i'm gonna be chatting with this guy till december when december comes he brings stories <claps> ciao ciao or when november comes if someone who really wants to come and visit you you will see them around october november talking of coming you know the flight ticket looking for the hotel so it will tell you something but you agree december then october quiet november quiet <laughs> i think around november you ask are you still coming you know <laughs> you talk about it earlier a month before to see what are his response and if his response is not all that convincing to you you end everything there then you chatting with a guy without knowing when are you going to meet without any deadline you will waste your time even up to five years i know ladies that wasted their time with guys online chatting and chatting and chatting these guys treating them as just an online girlfriend for five good years so let us never ignore that i talked of being introduced i won't go back at it again because that was another red flag so yes we continue long story short in june he told me that the passport he had already got the passport and uh, so i thought he was gonna start like planning on his journey to fly over to where i am yeah and uh, i wasn't getting anything until when september came and uh, yeah he still still nothing happened from november 2022 I know that by the time I told him to fly over, he didn't have the passport as he had said. But when September came and he had all those months to get everything sorted out, that's where, like, that, that was the major one where I was like, dude, we planned this and he had all this time. And actually, he had this thing where he was saying that I'll do everything at last minute. So I didn't want to pressure him. Honestly, I didn't want to put any pressure on him. I did. Uh, keep asking him what's up what's up but I didn't want to like put him on any pressure if you know what I mean when September came and he didn't like give me anything um, I was really mad I was so mad I was mad I was really mad and I told him I think we should end things yeah that's when I started like getting like second thoughts about the relationship and when september came i told him i think we should break up we should break break like break up and um he apologized and he told me things were happening whatsoever like i don't want to tell you all the details of my my past relationship because i don't want to throw all of that shade like i don't want to say everything but i'm just like brushing through to tell you what happened and why they left because it's mostly the main reason why i left and uh yeah i told him we should take a break we should like take a break from our relationship because i wasn't like feeling like i was getting what i wanted in a person so when september came and he didn't make it that's where i really started like getting second thoughts in my head second guessing everything and i told him you know what i think me i need some time and he was like okay we're gonna uh we, we, how about you give me time and i figure it out and see if i can we can do it another time and i told him you can either come in december or we can go we can go like we can meet in uganda because i was already planning to go home for 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 a holiday yeah so i told him we can either meet here in december or he can meet me in uganda but i told him um i want space yeah i didn't okay it wasn't like an actual breakup but i told him i need space i need space i need space and for me that's where everything started like to start like coming to me things that are I had like missed my eyes on 
things that I shouldn't have missed my eyes on. And um, actually, my most of my friends like noticed it, but they would tell me, and I would just keep my faith up for this person. And I kept telling them, no, he's gonna come, he's gonna come, he's gonna come, he's gonna meet me. Yeah, so <clears throat> I told him if he really wants to work things out, he should fly here in December so that we spend my annual leave together here. Or he should meet me back in Uganda, we spend like that time together. And he said, yes. For the second time. December comes again. I'm not getting anything. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking. I'm not saying I'm not seeing any positivity about him taking the step of booking the flights, doing what I'm asking him what is wrong. He's saying he's afraid of lying. I'm telling him to book appointments, appointments to talk to to someone like someone who can talk to you talk to people who are like afraid of heights and he like he's like arguing on everything yeah so so when december came i saw that this guy wasn't serious he hadn't booked anything he still told me he will do everything close to the date of flying but I also kept it, kept it in mind that it might not happen. So I told him, if he doesn't come here, I'm just gonna book my flights to go back home. And by that time, I was like starting to take my steps back in the relationship because I really don't want anyone wasting my time. When it comes to dating, I don't want anybody to waste my time to play on me. Yeah, so I started like to take just tiny steps back in the relationship, but I, I kept like being present. Uh, December still came and nothing had happened. He hadn't booked anything. And I was all, always the one bringing up the topic of uh, like him of meeting. So when I didn't see anything coming up, one week to the date that I wanted to go home, that I had booked my annual leave from work, I booked my flight tickets and I flew home. So, um, when I flew home, I told him, see, I have gone back home for Christmas. I'm gonna be home until January. Maybe you can fly over to Uganda. You know, like I was just keeping my hopes up. I was just keeping my hopes up to see that maybe he can come through. Just, for the relationship and I went home and all that period of time that I was home the communication was really low it was super low yeah it was super down it was it was it was super low like um, we were I think we had like already broken up but we hadn't like really it hadn't like sunk in yeah so um, I went home, I stayed home for three weeks, I came back here, and when I came back here, I came back here in January, January around 18, 18th January 2024, and uh, we were kind of still talking, yeah, for me the relationship had crumbled already. I like started having this feeling and I told him from September that if he doesn't go through with it like I'm done done and from September that's when like I started taking my steps back yeah so when I came back here he was like okay you know what I know I fucked up but I am sorry this was happening to me this was happening to me I just really don't want to bash the guy because he's not here to speak for himself but I'm just talking about the reason why I did leave there are so many things that happened in the relationship but I won't talk about everything just because I want I want to make the person a bad guy because I don't want him to be the bad guy honestly he was a nice guy just the problem was if you love me why can't you meet me why can't you fly and meet me why can't you meet me 
I was in love with him. He was so in love with me. We were so in love with each other, but when it came to our uh, first like being together for that long and uh, you haven't like tried your best to do your part as a man, like I, I just couldn't stay in that. Yeah, I closed the book entirely. I was like, you know, okay. That chapter is gone. It's time for me to move forward. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk a little bit of uh, the red flags that I saw in my former relationship and I skipped my, uh, my eyes on them. I remember writing uh, the negative things about my former relationships because I wanted them to help me move forward. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a reminder and I wrote it here, reminder and on the 13th of October 2023 I decided to write the list of negative things that I knew about about C that would help me to not focus only on the positive things but also see the negative things so that they could help me to move forward with my life I wrote about never compromising so with the never compromising negative thing I wrote it because when he said that we can meet in the Dominican, he was like, when when he had to fly over here in September, uh, uh, he always gave, gave me an excuse and he said that it was really far from where he was to where I am. And it would take him like a very long journey, a, long, a very long flight to get over here. And he was like, it is very, very far. And he said we could, either meet in the Dominican Republic and when he said that I told him but I, I, I can I'm willing to fly to Dominican to meet you or uh, somewhere closer if I could go if I could just go to Canada because Canada is a little bit closer to him it would be okay so when it came to compromising I just felt like I was compromising more than he was compromising sorry I skipped this part of when he when he didn't come in September I actually I was hard I was really hard I was so hard so a week after he did not come I was like maybe this guy is really afraid of flying so me, let me try my luck and apply for the visa how I wish I recorded myself on that day so I told him, okay, you know what, uh, let me try to apply for the visa. If they give me the visa, I'll come through and see you. If they don't give it to me, then you gotta do all you can to meet me in December. So I applied for the visa and he had to pay for it and he never did, but that's okay. I paid for it. I'm an independent person, but if someone offers and insist that they will do something i let them do it so i when it came to the visa i told him we can go half i didn't tell him to give me the money i told him we can go half he can pay half and i can pay half in case they deny it we both lose yeah and then he said no he will pay for it i'm i uh, contacted the agent because i did it through the agent to apply for me the agent piled up everything and it was time to pay because you have to pay before you go for the interview and I just kept asking I kept asking him I have an interview coming up can you please send me the money so that we book a date long story short he never sent the money I was I, I ended up paying for the interview so I paid the uh, the agent and she applied for the visa so I paid for the visa fee and for the agent fee hoping that he will at least send me back half of the money, yeah. So, um, when uh, I applied for the visa, the, uh, the date came for the, for the interview, I went, to the, I went to the embassy, I did my interview, spent four hours standing, and I got denied. I got denied, they didn't give me the visa. I got denied and I got denied and I was so heartbroken because 
at some point it felt like maybe I would get the visa and I would just fly and go see this person yeah so they denied me the visa and what mostly had broke me after they denied me the visa I thought I thought C was gonna feel some remorse in him and be like you know what i see how much you want us to meet let me just do now it's my turn let me just book my flights right away straight away like really straight away i thought he was gonna do that and book his flights straight away to come in december but he didn't he didn't oh my gosh man actually remembering all this is like making me angry honestly yeah so he didn't do it he didn't get any remorse he said sorry blah 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 comforting me but not taking the responsibility as a person that i was like doing this for to be like okay you know what let me even like pay you back the money you spent or let me just or let me get the word or let me get the ticket so that i come down in december and i want to talk about this whole visa story if you're watching me now you are a lady that is financially stable you can afford a trip to europe you can afford a trip to america you can afford a trip to canada australia you find a guy online you start talking never ever offer to pay for your trip because you offering i'm not saying it's a bad thing but when it comes to online dating you will never ever find out if that guy is really really interested in you but when you allow a guy to pay for your trip at least it shows some seriousness that hey i really want to meet you and i know some of you you are remembering the last story that i shared with you of a ugandan lady who went to austria yes that guy paid for everything for her trip to go to austria i can't say that guy was never serious no <laughs> he was actually serious but his character my friend his character was totally incompatible with Eve. Eve was going to suffer in that relationship, but the guy was serious. That is why he invested <laughs> into that relationship. Trying to talk about it so that you can see the difference. So imagine here on Eve's case, if she's the one that paid for her whole trip and then arrived in his country, this guy turns out not to be what she expected <laughs> oh my god you have a heartbreak and you have wasted lots of your money with a guy that is toxic so let a guy pay for your trip please please if you're going to help this guy you're financially okay maybe only to pay for the visa because a visa visa fee is not all that much but he's gonna pay for your insurance he's gonna pay for your flight tickets go and return yeah we have to see the efforts of this guy but on nala's case we see that she offered and when i heard that i was super super angry <laughs> my blood boiled i was like nala why why did you do that she was like bella i was in love i was just stupid and also the agent misled her was like you have to sponsor yourself you have to pay for the ticket and everything <laughs> to show that you're financially stable even if you go to america you will return but on C's side C never sent even a coin you know to pay for her visa and when she got denied the visa this guy never showed nala that oh my god i'm sorry my love you know i'm gonna do all it takes to be with you no it was just like just like a normal thing that has happened i was like i'm sorry <laughs> whereby i've been receiving love stories when ladies don't get the visas they get denied the boyfriends cry with them even me i'm a good example guys i told you i got denied the visa at first when i was coming to italy oh my god <laughs> 
my boyfriend husband now told me that day he was super super nervous he ate all his nails because when he's nervous he tends to eat his nails <laughs> you can see how someone is crying with you and we call it love <laughs> after that he had to reach out to the Italian embassy in Dar es Salaam to look for a solution but when you compare with C, C was like, I'm sorry, I never even paid back Nala's money to apply for that visa. It clearly showed that this guy was never interested in meeting Nala in real life. This is the truth. I have something to add here. If you're watching me, you are on the dating apps or you are dating someone already you met on online dating apps, dating sites, or even in real life. Remember, dear sister, for a relationship to work, for a healthy relationship, it takes two, okay? <laughs> so don't be the one to be pushing things. If it is go meet him, don't be the one to be pushing, 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 pushing. No. If you see this guy is not putting enough efforts into your relationship but it's you that is putting lots of efforts and it is even taking you to an extent of feeling drained leave that relationship please please don't hold on to that relationship and stupidly even though i was starting to back down from the relationship i kept asking him are we meeting in december are you gonna come are you gonna come so that's where I make the list to help me like leave him. Yeah, so there was never compromising and uh, <clears throat> refused to pay me back for, my, for the visa fee. He didn't give me back the money that I spent for the visa. And then the, another one is that he canceled on me at the last minute to meet in person. And that did not sit well with me because he had like so much time to meet me and then uh, doesn't put effort that I put in the relationship I feel like it was one-sided he kept saying how much he how much he loved me and he wants it to work but I it just felt like I was the only person putting in the effort asking him when are we meeting? When are you booking the ticket? When are you doing this? When are you doing that? When can we meet? This and this, that and that. He never once asked me that question of when do you think we can meet? It was always me. And uh, yeah, so I also wrote that down. I'm all about giving. Like one of my love language languages is giving. And uh, on his birthday last year, I bought him a couple of things if you were following me on Instagram uh, or if you watched the video Bella did I bought him clothes I bought him like presents just to show how much I do care about him but even there there is a time that reached and my birthday came up and this guy forgot my birthday yeah there are like some issues there that, that I've, I don't really want to like expose because I really don't want you guys to think that he's the worst guy out there yeah but I'm just talking about the key points that really made me feel like yeah this is this might be the wrong person for me yeah. uh, it came to that that I bought him presents and I showed him on the camera and I was gonna give him give them to him when he came in person because I wanted like to pile them up until he comes in person and he opens everything by himself yeah but he never bought me anything in a two years of dating me i'm not a materialistic person i don't ask for money i work so hard for myself and i don't want to depend on a man so i never wanted him like to give me like hard my hard cash but just just something small like just to do something that you appreciate someone would like it's just enough especially for women like small things really count in our lives huh uh yeah i i don't think i'll mention the others because they're like strictly like poking him yeah uh when it came to talking about serious topics like where do you think 
we would be in this period of time he wasn't like so serious about talking su of such topics I would like tell him you know what I want to talk to you about something can we talk at this period of time and he would agree to it and then when the time came he was not available like he would call him the phone would go through but he would not just not be available and then he would call you the next day to apologize and then he would like bring up the topic that you wanted to talk to and he would like still push it and that went on for like an extended period of time so i also like noted it down talking about serious topics and being serious uh, when is this happening when can this happen when can we do this when can we do that okay what's the future plan let's do this let's do that of course we are talking about like marriage and stuff uh, but I wanted like seriousness about things, you know, and the first step to all of that was about meeting in person and which was the main reason to why I decided to leave and another thing is Wes doesn't want to fly to meet me Yeah, so <laughs> that was the last thing because it was the last resort where I felt like he really doesn't just maybe I don't know until now I don't know why C didn't fly to meet me in the two years we were together I swear to God all he says all what he says in the apology messages it's like he had issues and he's also afraid of flying but people are so afraid of flying and people still fly because it's the only option I told him if he knew that he couldn't fly, he would have told me in the first place. Like in the early days of us like talking, he would have told me. So the main reason to, I'm concluding by saying the main reasons why I did walk out of my previous relationship. So another thing that really kept on making my blood boil is if you go through the messages that Nala shared, you know, on the screen from C, you can see he always says, I love you, I love you Nala, I love you Nala. But in this case, love is not enough. If you truly love me, then your words should match the actions. Love, love, love just by saying it without actions? To me, if I was in Nala's shoes, it means nothing because you can tell me all beautiful words you can tell me i'm the most beautiful woman on earth you can tell me you want to marry me i don't know have kids with me we are going to get married if there is no actions for me it means nothing 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 so never be blinded by a guy's words because i know some of you have been through bad bad past love relationship experience maybe no one ever told you i love you then you meet this guy every message that he sends you i love you i love you you talk on a video call i love you i love you and it carries you away <laughs> it makes you get blinded no no dear sister love just love by saying i love you is not enough it should be accompanied by actions. Then at that time, we understand, oh yes, this is true love. It is real love. <laughs> yeah. So let us learn, guys, from her story. Which was for two years, it's because um, C couldn't fly to meet me. I did everything in my power. For me, I am just such an independent person. And uh, uh, I reached through the extent of telling him that, you know what, I'm gonna book my ticket to Dominican. When can we, when can you book yours? Let's see the dates. I book mine, you book yours, we go to Dominican, we meet there. Yeah. Yeah, so I really decided to leave the relationship and I did break up with C. We did break up. We broke up. We broke up, and uh, I'm just so glad that I did because leaving that relationship after it helped me to learn more about myself. It helped me to understand how strong I am because I never 
ever thought that I would meet that person because I felt like he was the person for me. He was gonna be my husband, he was gonna be the father of my children, he was gonna be everything that I wanted. But uh, sometimes if you feel like something is holding you back, you, you gotta move forward. Don't let it like just keep you there, waste your time. Honestly, I feel like if I kept like giving this person chances, chance after chance after chance after chance, feels like it was gonna keep going like that because he knew he would disappoint me and I would just forgive him. And it was gonna become a pattern so it, it could just repeat itself. And we were like in that sort of space for like eight months when are we meeting? When can you meet me? Why can't you meet me? I can meet you because I can't fly. But the only way to, for you to meet me is for you to fly to me because I even applied for the visa to the US and the, I got denied. I cannot go there and apply for them for a second time. And he was still telling me that I should go back and apply for the next, for the second time. I went through so much pain when I got denied that visa. I'm telling you, I was so heartbroken. When I left the embassy, it didn't hit me until I got home and I was talking to him, telling him that, you know, I got denied the visa. I was all crying, sobbing. And I expected him to feel the pain that I was feeling. And I, I thought he was gonna say, you know what? Okay, you know what? Let me think about it. Let me take some a few days and then I'm gonna book my ticket to come and see you because I know you have, like, you have really, like, you have really showed me that you really want this. But all he kept saying that I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna show you that I want this. I'm gonna do this. I know I love you. 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 You're saying you love someone, but you're not like taking the first step to show that you love him. So for me, I felt like it was gonna be a pattern to be repeated. And people were asking me on Instagram, why haven't you met? I was getting tired of it. And I actually took a long break from Instagram. I took a six months break, six, seven months. Yeah, and some people started to realizing that maybe something was wrong, but that was the reason because I didn't even like want to talk about it. I just wanted to be sure like that the relationship was over and then I decided to to move forward from it. But a lot happened in that relationship. I shouldn't have like let that relationship waste my time because two years it's a lot of time it's a lot of time honestly but uh, what I want to say is that if you catch yourself in the same situation you're talking to the person and you are like calling them they keep telling you how much they love you and they want to keep you and that they're gonna work it out and that it's gonna work out but for, for it to work out it's up to them to take the decision to work out and they're not taking that decision that step sister leave move on that is not your person because i have seen people who meet people like three months and people decide to meet them Two weeks and people fly to meet them my very first online relationship with the guy that i met he met me in like two months of us speaking i know that was also a failed relationship but that guy met me even like two times and we, we only did it for a year and a half and he flew to uganda to meet me two times and this guy i gave him my all two years nothing nothing at all nothing at all all I want to say is that um, it's not that I feel like time is has left me out or what, but I don't really want to waste my time. I don't want anybody to waste my time and I don't want to waste anybody's time. So I learned so much about myself from that relationship, looking back and looking at the things where which i really stood up for instead of like 
standing up for myself and taking my pride and walk away earlier and waited for that long and the pattern kept on going and going and going so many things happened that i i have not like exposed because i don't want to paint this picture on this person as like the the worst guy to date but yeah things happen that i don't really want to talk about all um wanted to talk about is to why the main reason to why i decided to walk and leave the relationship uh it was a really hard decision because i i Dude. I asked different people in my in my family to just give me like and to just give me advice and they were telling me to walk away my friends were telling me to walk away but I was like maybe these people just don't want maybe they don't wish well for me I should give him another chance give him another chance give him another chance and I never like I, I truly never listened to anyone's advice until I sat myself down and I advised myself I was like okay so if you keep talking to this person and give them another year this pattern will keep repeating itself it will because you see what has happened and you don't see any remorse from it like the person is not remorseful about what's happening even however much they say sorry and that they're gonna work on it and like work on their issues but it's still like the same pattern happening so i decided to leave and honestly it was a hard decision it wasn't easy because i had real feelings for this person he loved me we had made plans but nothing was gonna happen until we met and it was up to him to meet me because here he can fly here and he can get the visa from the airport me i need a visa and i applied for the visa i got denied uh going to dominican republic i also offered to pay for my flight ticket and for him he was all giving excuses so i felt like it's just gonna keep like that going in circles and i was just so done and yeah i decided to exit and to just close the book and open a new one so that's the main reason to why i really left my relationship and uh, i don't think i really will talk about it some more about it but yeah the reason why i left my relationship is because c couldn't fly out here to meet me that's why i left the main reason the main the main the first one of the the red flags do i have a red flag in my house no i don't here yeah. but the <laughs> the main reason the main red flag that i actually had to see in like in after two years was that not meeting me for that long and i had did my best i did all i could in my power to make that happen yeah so if you are there and you have someone and you feel like you're in the same situation with me sis move out because you're gonna keep wasting your time you're gonna keep being the online girlfriend because some people wanna have the fantasy of just having online girlfriends and they just want to keep you there so that you don't even like see other people to find like a potential person who can actually like be oh, anyways i think that's it and also if you really want to follow up on my journey of my love life <laughs> subscribe e subscribe on my youtube channel or follow me down follow me on my instagram and uh yeah you get all the what's up what's up but anyways so um i have the saying which i always used to motivate myself i always tell myself once one door closes another one opens and i think that's the most thing that helps me to move forward with situations when i feel like i cannot do anymore and then i just pick up myself and i remember that once one door closes another one opens and February 2024, I joined another dating app 
and I met someone after two weeks of joining yeah I met someone he's really nice so very much April it's been three months he's a nice guy he's the sweetest guy I have ever met online honestly yeah I feel like fingers crossed fingers crossed yeah but <laughs> it's so exciting because I'm even like getting jitters just talking about him I'm just getting jitters 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 but yeah I met someone new um, he's really a nice person and we are making arrangements to meet in person ah you'll find out when we're gonna meet on my youtube channel or you're gonna find so subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i get to post a new video or follow me on my instagram Ta -da! here is it and you will get all the updates but all in all guys i would just want to tell you that don't give up on love because there is someone for you and the someone that's for you there is someone for you someone that you really desire don't settle for less don't settle for someone who you think that doesn't give you enough don't settle for someone whom you feel like you are doing the most in the relationship just because they are the type of person you want to date i admit i have wanted to date a white guy ever since I started dating in my high school like the, my mixed ex-boyfriend I was like if I'm not having children with him I'm having children who are like him so that's where I, like, I got the call the this concept of like mm, how would it feel to date like a white man so until now I'm just like if a if I was like really I know I know I'm attracted to black guys too but like I have always like wanted to date a white man and to just like marry a white man because yeah I, I feel like it is not like a fetish but everyone have their own preferences I have dated black guys in my past and uh, I have that experience and uh, I just my heart desire is to end up married to a white guy which is not bad it might not be someone else's meat it, will, it might be someone else's poison but it's my meat it might be my meat and it would be someone else's poison so um, I have been on dating apps for, for five years and I met another guy so he would be like this the sec, the second serious guy actually that the third not the second the third serious guy that I've met online so we are planning to meet Give you the tea later i'll give you the tea later and if you want to see what's happening what's gonna happen in the next couple of months to see where this road is gonna take me stick around subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when that video finally comes up on your screen on your uh on your phone screen that So guys, with Nala's new love, I really pray that this time he is the one. And I also told her that I'm so proud of her to go back to the dating apps to not give up on love because most will run away from dating apps. They will tell you I'll never go back to the apps. I'm so tired of searching for love. Love does not exist. Maybe I was born to be alone, <laughs> not to get married. But her courage, her determination, oh my God, is on another level. Girl, I wish you all the best in your new relationship. Let us wish her all the best. And we are expecting good news because she told me, Bella, this guy, he is totally different from C. Because right now, my eyes are wide open. I have learned from my mistakes and lastly guys that we are learning from nala's story is to never cover up for a guy especially you guys that are in toxic relationships 
because I know you go through a toxic relationship, but at the same time, you want to keep holding on to it, thinking the guy will change. When people ask you about the guy, maybe they suspect he treats you bad, you cover up and start being like, no, we are happy, you know, that perfect couple. <laughs> but later on, things will backfire you and they might backfire you in a bad way. I have seen ladies losing their lives because they kept on covering up and enduring, accepting all the abuse from the husband or the boyfriend, but in the end, they lose their lives in the process. Not only that, I've also seen ladies that when it reached here, they wanted to run, talked to their families, the families turned against them because they have never had anything that maybe that guy was toxic on her. You find a mother is asking a daughter, maybe saw her with a black eye, what happened? She's like, no, I fell down. <laughs> or maybe I hit the wall, you know, just like that, covering up. And when she says, I'm tired of this marriage, you know, they start telling her, you are a bad woman, you can't leave this guy, he has been treating you well never ever cover up even on nala's case we see she covered up when she shared the love story and i'm so sure even she could cover up you know she said it in the video when the friends could ask when you guys are meeting she kept on covering up you know telling lies that he's gonna come you know <laughs> making things up in the end what came up the guy wasn't serious the guy never intended to meet her so what was the sense of covering up because you cover up he's coming he's coming but if the truth is that that guy the way he is he's not intending to see you he will never come no matter how you cover up and if you decide to leave a guy leave him completely never look back one red flag the relationship is done no mercy i told you for these guys because they don't have mercy on you <laughs> guys if you still want to keep in touch or if you are new here please subscribe and i think i'll see you in the next video ciao and i love you so much <laughs> don't lose hope don't leave that dating up until you find your king heard me don't leave that dating up until you find your king giving up is not an option no no sis no sis no giving up is not an option i've been riding on this board of dating apps for five years and i found my king yeah if i did you will too so don't give up dog we're gonna say goodbye to you <laughs> bye bye guys love you bye Trixie. say bye bye 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 goodbye Ta -da! and guys before i end this video nala has talked about it already she has got a youtube channel so guys your support is needed please go and check out her content you're going to enjoy a lot you will learn a lot a lot of things for me i always say that we have got a lot to learn from each other so please go and support our sister nala i'm going to be sharing the name of her youtube channel here so that you can see it and go support her thank you so much guys for your support so dear friends this video has been really long but i appreciate you for your support to watch till now be blessed and if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i would like to know if you haven't watched my other videos too please go watch them and those who have not subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.